This is what they call at Fenway a rain delay, right? Yeah. He doesn't want to talk to me right now, I can tell. I'm gonna tell PJ that we need to get this for the office. Hot tub, pizza oven, it's gonna be great. We build houses the way we built our business. Start with a strong foundation. Hire a team inspired to push the boundaries of design. Respect the build, putting integrity and quality first. We are Oak Development and Design, and this is Heart of Oak. Heart of Oak is brought to you by Timberland Pro. Always do, never done. Cam Appliances and Thermador. Make your next appliance a Cam Appliance. Midcape Home Centers. Experience that builds. And Azac Building Products. And these valued partners. been a while since we've been to Pope's with you guys, so I thought I'd bring you guys over, show you what's going on over there. It's been super dry, and then all of a sudden, in the last week, we've just been crushed with rain. Home shows aren't based in New England a lot. It's just a tough spot to build houses. You've got harsh weather in the winter. You got lots of rain in the spring. You usually have really humid, hot summers. And, you know, every day we're kind of dealing with the elements. It's hard to even film them because they take nine or 10 months. Somehow we figured it out, sort of, right? I don't know if you guys remember this place, but it looks massively different. I saw a picture of it the other day, and I totally forgot what it actually looked like before and what we've done. It's that time in the project where you realize, like, wow, the whole thing that was in your head is coming together, and it's actually turning out exactly the way we wanted. Metal roof will go on pretty soon, and then that'll complete everything, and the whole thing will be weather tight, which would be awesome. The two modern doors from Marvin are delayed a little bit. It's a brand new product. We're like one of the first ones off the line. So I think they're really trying to make it absolutely perfect. Uh, those are supposed to come in in a couple weeks. So we're just kind of waiting for those. So we worked extensively with Circle Lighting to lay out the entire house, pick out the exact trims that we needed to make it work. And so the, the cool thing, number one, they're cool. Cool factor's high. Number two, they're very slim lined, so very modern look. We did the entire house in this. These guys are wrapping up the wiring. Today's Thursday. Hopefully by Wednesday, we'll get a rough inspection by the end of next week. And then we'll be off and running with insulation, and then everything starts to rifle in really quickly. One of the things you all know we're really excited about is the walk-in fridge from Root Cellar. So you can see that this is our insulated pocket door here. There's gonna be a little sensor that you, you wave your hand in front of here and the door will open. I am technically in the refrigerator. So this is all gonna be glass shelves with a subway tile on the walls. And I think we're doing a slate on the floor. We're gonna have a door here with wire shelving inside. When you come in with all your groceries, you just put them in here and you walk away. So then the last thing I'm super excited, well, I'm excited about everything here, but then the other thing is this VIP system level entry shower kit. So this is pre-pitched, ready to go, so that it all goes down into this proprietary drain. The drain is extra large, so it's supposed to take twice the amount of volume because it's so such a big space here. This is going to be, I guess, what, you, what we call a wet room where the whole room is waterproof, so everything can get wet, and then you have no threshold here, and it all just goes right down the drain. So I got a call, Lizzie Quick, about the appliances. Hi. Hey, I'm just checking in. You're headed to CAM, right? Yeah, I'm going with the girls down there to look for stuff for Pope's Lane. OK, great. It's a huge order, So huh? we, yeah, well, I mean, we don't need a refrigerator, obviously, but we need everything else. And I think it's like a, at least 11 items. What brand are you looking at? Thermador, I think. Cool. Them. Awesome. All right. All right, I was just checking in. I'll talk to you later. OK, Kay, bye. bye. This showroom is amazing. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. 
What did you say you found over here? Over here, look, this is like the wine room we're just discussing. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, I love how it's like lit up. And, and this is a different brand, right? Signature. But like having something like that, I mean, how much more wine space do you need? This pizza oven thing is amazing. This is the 36 as well. I'm gonna tell PJ that we need to get this for the office. <laughs> and we need it outside. Yeah. 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 yeah, hot tub, pizza oven, it's gonna be great. <laughs> We're not high maintenance at all. Yeah. We, for our Pope's Lane project, we just, I just put in the order actually. Okay. So it's all Thermidor in the kitchen and it's a, it's a big order. So it was, yeah. I think, 11 appliances. So we're doing the double oven, the warming drawer, and then she was going between doing a speed oven or a microwave, and I think they use a microwave so much, I think she was sort of, they're very practical, so I think yeah, the, what they're used to. the ease of just like popping something in a microwave is sort of what they were like, you know what, to save a little bit, I think we're just gonna go with that. It's not all about getting a million appliances right. in their home, it's about meeting them where they're at with their budget, not putting them into a speed oven situation when right. they really love their microwave. I like the griddle option. Yeah, the griddle is great. And you can cook a lot more than like pancakes so and grilled cheese you, sandwiches on Oh, and it. you just clean, oh, that's easy. Yeah, and so what you can do is heat it up really, really, really hot. Yeah. And then you just put water right on it. And yeah. And it like, it, you that's how you it clean it. It creates steam and then you can just wipe it off with a cloth. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm gonna tell PJ this is what I want. Okay, good. <laughs> it's so nice to be here and like see these big displays sort of like set up like this is super helpful. Like a little kid. This thing is so cool. Today's the day, bright and early and bushy eyed. We are on the way to intercept the Sky Cove. It is finally here from War Road, Minnesota. So we're gonna go over and uh, see if we can catch it and uh, see what it looks like. And then they're actually delivering it to Kimmel Beach today. So we're pretty excited. This should be, uh, I don't know. I think it's going to look like a wood crate. I see a mid-cave truck. Oh, wow. You can actually see the thing. Look at that. Let's go deliver the Sky Cove. Not bad for a guy with sandals. Just one? Just right. one, right? Like a little kid. This thing is so cool. It's going all the way up there. Well, there you have it, folks. All the way from Warroad, Minnesota, the first white sky cove off the line. So we're pretty excited about it. I don't know. I'm also very nervous about getting it all the way up there. We'll figure it out. Awesome, right there is great. The other day, we had the Sky Cove come in. As you guys saw, it was built in War Road, Minnesota. It's the first white one ever made and the first one in New England. Jared and I just took the cover off. It brought the parts upstairs. We got a crane coming in about 15 minutes, and then Jared's upstairs prepping the opening up there. Pumped about this thing. Look how big it is. I mean, imagine uh, I'm going to be sitting in this thing three floors up looking at Boston Harbor. So we had hey. some fireworks this morning, huh? We did, yeah. Nothing like a good fire drill to get the day started. We were strategizing at 7 in the morning this morning, like, how the heck are we going to get this thing in? Yeah, it was more than just a quick 30-second conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the goal is get it here, put ratchets across to the studs, yep. and ratchet it in the place. Yeah, we'll probably have to put a third one at the top for some stability as well. Um, but we'll get it in place, and I think we'll uh, be able to make it work. So a couple things we've done here. We've prepped the jam with butyl tape. Uh, we've also got through bolts here per the manufacturer's specs. Um, and what, why is that? Explain why these through bolts are here. So the through bolts are really, so we've got three of them in place here. 
outside of the actual fastenings of the window. Uh, and another part of it is adding some extra meat on the bone, basically. Which makes this all act as one big kind of post rather than uh, five separate pieces of wood. So there's a lot going on here. We're going to have to do some drilling today. We're going to have to put brackets with bolts in today. Should be interesting. Yeah, we're putting a window in today. Yeah, we're putting a window in. <laughs> Three floors high and it yeah, weighs 700 no, pounds. No big deal. Yeah. They trust you with that thing? No. All right, I'd say you'd want to boom out probably another foot. This is what they call at Fenway a rain delay, right? Yeah. He doesn't want to talk to me right now, I can tell. All right, it's Dave, if you want to pull the ball up. Hold it there. So what are you doing? You're trying to determine his final? Yeah, he's going to mark all of the positioning on the crane. So at least he has like a baseline, so he doesn't, he's not going completely blind. Say, so pull the ball up. Two feet. Hold it there. Fine tune it once you get there. Uh, all right, Barry, so what do we have in here? We've got our instructions. Instructions, very important. Very important. In this case, I might actually read them. I'm going to teach you how to use instructions today. Okay. My wife will be happy. Oh, there, rubber ducky. Over. OK, so the straps are in. All right, we're ready to roll, huh? You're right there. Oh, just like a cat on a hot tin roof. The Sky Cove was designed to be installed with a forklift or a lull. Yeah, baby. Let's get this thing up. Unfortunately, with our tight lot, we couldn't fit one, so we brought a crane in to get the job done. All right, hold it there. All right, do you want to help me position it so where we put it down, that's going to be in a good place? Right, I, we... I would say that's pretty good. Keep coming, ball down. A little more, yeah. That's perfect. All right, well, now you look like real official. Well, yeah, I know I've put the safety gear on, so apparently I have to get outside and actually unhook this. Notice I'm inside where it's not raining. I know, you've kind of placed that well. Yes. Nice job. So really, all I'll have is a visual with you guys, so knowing when you're ready to maneuver the window, and then uh, I'll unhook the straps, and uh, that's, that'll be my role outside. Let's not drop it. It's, ex right. it's expensive. <laughs> really? Fall down. Uh, Jarrah's outside kind of on hold in the rain. And he's going to take the straps off in a second. We're going to pull them down through. Well, you look soggy. Yeah, it's nice to join you inside. I've been outside yeah. for the last 20 minutes uh, waiting to watch all this happen. But it uh, looks like it went off without a hitch. It went off really easy. Honestly, yeah. we were able to just take take it by hand and get it into place. I think it needs to come a little bit more in. Yeah. So we're going to use your nifty device you created this morning. Well, I'm glad Nail it's it going to get some use because it was a lot of uh, kind of MacGyvering if it wasn't going to get used, right? It's going to work perfect. I was out there in the rain watching, so I was timing you, making sure you weren't taking any longer than you had to. I'll but... tell you, it couldn't be any easier. Right. Honestly. Let's go. Let's get this thing in. Let's do it. Get out of your way. DJ, you look like you're on the final last push here, huh? I am on the final last push. How'd you make out outside? Uh, we battled the rain, but we were able to take the temporary support down. So this is the Sky Cove, just sitting. Here it is. Where it should be. Where it should be. And I found Barry on the way, so he can tell us if it's fastened correctly. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? Well, let me have a look here. Um, Did I miss anything? No, I think uh, so this looks good. like you have it all dialed in on the interior. Awesome. This thing was built halfway across the country in the northernmost part of the United States. Yes. Made it here. It wasn't broken. <laughs> we lifted it to the third floor unconventionally. 
We craned it into place when it's designed to be lifted by forks. Correct. Correct. I'm pretty happy. Yeah. In the rain, nonetheless. Right. In the rain, <laughs> and it's pretty dry in here, considering we haven't even weatherproofed the outside yet. The most important question. Have you been in yet? No. Let's get in. Oh, yeah. I'm going all in. Hum. <laughs> it's all right, Barry. All right. Get in there. So cozy. I mean, it holds all of us. This is great. Can you <laughs> imagine if it didn't? <laughs> Talk about bringing the outside inside. Huh? Yeah. I mean, yeah, we could stargaze out here if there were stars. Yeah. And go take a slow walk on the beach. You're probably wondering how this actually all came about, right? Matt Logan headed to Chattanooga to pick up six pallets of stone veneer for popes. Over three grand to shit. So I rented a pesky truck and I'm driving it back. All right, we've landed two flights and two naps and I'm ready to drive overnight. Here's my baby. Here. We're loaded up. Zip, baby. Back to New England. Two hours in, and that's the shake I had in the truck. Twenty-three and a half hours, baby. Walk in the town. Made it. When we first drew the house, we knew that we were gonna do a spiral staircase here, but we didn't know if we were gonna frame it in with traditional wood method, if we were gonna buy a kit staircase, if we were gonna do a custom one. We just knew there was gonna be one there. We called Ashmont Steel and asked them if they'd be able to pull something together, and in fact, they do it all the time. Jarrah worked with Ashmont to make sure the sizing was right. He made sure that we had a double patio door here so we could get it through. He arranged a crane. I mean, there's tons of logistics here just to get this spiral staircase in. It took them a while to get it done, plus they're busy, so we had to work on timelines. There's so many different things. It's like a symphony trying to figure this out. But in the end, the goal was to get it in before plaster. You'll notice that down here has already been plastered because once you get the staircase in, you're, that's it. You can't get behind it anymore. You always have to be 10 steps ahead. Whoa, that's crazy. I felt it get sucked it? down by yeah. my foot. There's a lot to choose from. Let Cam Appliances make it easier for you. Looking for sleek or bold? Thermador will help create a kitchen that suits your style. Because the kitchen is where life happens. So make every experience in it uniquely yours. Don't just shop for appliances. Test them out with our in-store chef. Ask how you can save big on Thermador with in-store rebates and offers. Make your next appliance a cam appliance. Whether you're a contractor, remodeler, or DIYer, you can rely on Camo to help you tackle all of your deck projects. We've been using Camo universal deck clips that are easy to set in place. We lock rows of boards and clips with a Camo lever tool and fasten with a Camo drive and clip drive stand-up tool. This system helps us save time on every job and helps us build better. Discover the benefits of camo for yourself by checking out camofasteners.com. Camo, the better way to build a deck. All 
All right, here we are. We got the uh, new camo system going, huh? That's right. How's it working so far? It's working great. The clamps are really good. Yeah. We do have to assist with this type of material just to keep it in place. Yeah, so the manufacturer of the camo product doesn't recommend that we use the edge screws on all this, which is why they have this product, the edge clip, right? So the yes. edge clip is this right here. And the way that we're using this edge clip is we're using a biscuit joiner to create our groove in the side. Clip. That is correct. And the reason we have to do that is, unfortunately, because of lack of inventory, we couldn't get the mahogany uh, pre-routed with the edge like, like composite decking comes with. So this is really useful with composite decking. Yes. Really designed for that. Um, but with mahogany, you either have to get it with the groove or you need to put it in with a biscuit joiner, right? Yes. So in this case, guys, what Frankie's done is he's biscuit jointed everything, but because the natural wood moves and twists, um, we do use the camo lever, uh, which we just got as well, to kind of get them in place. But we're utilizing the edge screw in a couple sections just to hold it in place nice and firm because it has that flexibility. What I wanted to show you guys and what Frankie's been using is We've got the uh, levers over here, and then we have our camo drive systems. So at the show, I used this guy here, the camo drive, and this has multiple tips. So this is obviously on here for the edge screw. Yes. Uh, but then they make a tip just like this one has for this, which, you know, we have both systems, so why not? You don't That's have to correct. change it every yes. five minutes, don't right? So the major difference between these two, this is a brand new product, just came out. This guy is more, I guess, what we, we would call a industrial grade. We're going to beat the crap out of it every day. Uh, really meant for the contractor, where this one is a little simpler. There's less parts, and you're able to get it at a more cost-effective price. Let's talk about this lever over here real quick. So these levers are proprietary. These guys came up with this concept. Tell me if I'm doing this wrong. I haven't done it yet. But you basically bring this close, right? Tighten this one. Yeah. This one will push it in. And that just pulls it right in. Pulls it right in. That's pretty cool. So now you've got your edge screws in because we, you had a little bit of a yes. twist with the boards. You've got the clamps on. The next step is to use the drive, right? That's it. You want to make sure you have nice, consistent pressure on it. You have your clutch set, and then you just nice and firm. Is that it? That's it. Wow. Just like that. Just like that. You're gonna do the same thing here, right? There you go. Boom. Nice and tight, and then That's I it. can just go for it. Just go for it. All right, let's go for it. I'll time you. You're gonna time me? Ready? Yep. You, whoa, that's crazy. I felt it get sucked it? down by yeah. my foot. You know how much time this saves? I bet this saves 50% of your time putting it 50%. Down. Yeah. All right, there you have it, guys. Camo clip drive, the camo drive for the edge clip or face, and then you got the camo lever, which apparently is Frankie's favorite. My favorite. Just can't get over the view. That's amazing. It's right? like a, it looks like a painting.